Commissioner Crowes, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. There's a couple of things. So first of all, why, you know, you've, you've chosen to come. What, what excites you about being here at Open Knowledge Festival? Well, anyhow, inspiration. Um, food for Thought um, is, is an open community, very creative in their way of thinking, out of the box. So I badly need that uh, to make the policy. Make policy. You've, you've been an absolute inspiration as a policy maker, I have to say, uh, generally in, in this area. You've been incredibly innovative. Uh, but what do you think are the challenges still upcoming in this kind of area of the digital agenda, whether it's from open data through to privacy, what are the things that you think are really to fight for in or, to, or the, the challenges yeah. upcoming? For me it is talking about the atmosphere and the way of thinking in this festival, that that is implemented all around Europe, for it can be absolutely a asset. And that asset is not only for the happy few, those who are already involved in this movement, but all those who are really making a lot out of a society which open and it's open for information. And there it starts to have a dialogue, but it's also talking about open education, it's talking about a open mindset. And people, when they are aware of what's all about, then they are excited. So they deserve it. And I don't want to accept a world of the haves and the have-nots. That is the past. It is now everybody should uh, have the benefits and sometimes the disadvantages, but benefits are far uh, higher than uh, compared to uh, former days. Absolutely. One question is, looking back over the last few years uh, well, of, of, your, of, of this role, I know you were full competition, you also yeah. did amazing roaming charges and so on, but I want one thing right now, what is the thing that you want to, what are the kind of two or three or one thing that you're most yeah. happy about achieving over the last few years? Well, would you mind if I just Tell put me. it the other way around? What uh, I'm still pushing and still a couple of months in office. Yeah, um, very much so. Uh, having absolutely more certainty about the acceptance of the telco single market package. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely idiot that we are still having a ring fence telco market in Europe and for every other economic activity it is a single uh, market so we have to just get rid of those barriers and it is a step forward and we have to do it as soon as possible it's talking about uh, creating jobs it's talking about the connection with all the other economic activities it's talking about dealing with a lot of challenges innovation yeah. and it's talking about opportunities so that's one and another one, and that's a bit my love baby, it's coding. Yeah. What we were used to, that we were learning mm -hmm. our children, um, reading and writing, but it's not anymore reading and writing, it is coding. So from day one on that they are in that phase of their life, they should indeed learn. And then also talking about boys and girls, for yeah. still missing white the numbers of women participation, girl participation. That we would like to see. Yeah. No, I mean, so that's that's amazing. I'm just to ask a couple of specific ones. One is you've done a, quite a bit of stuff on kind of open research, open access. Yeah. Is there anything more that you would like to be seeing in that kind of area beyond what we have so far? Well, I'm always impressed, and again, also during this festival, about the talent we have in Europe. And by the way, sometimes people are saying our talent is, uh, is leaving Europe. Yeah. It, sometimes they are, but that's not bad. So getting them in the mood to come back but also being aware that a lot of talent of other parts of the world uh, are coming, are coming here. here so at it this, is at this festival it, it, yes and and staying and starting their uh, their their, uh, their company and it is amazing what is going on so don't be um, in in the mood that uh, we are giving up not at all we have great talent and we should use it and it is all about competitiveness of Europe and that is creating jobs and that is taking care of your startups for giving them a climate in which it's worthwhile to start in Europe your startup and just flourish it. And finally, obviously, um, any words for, 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 for 
you know, obviously Open Knowledge, we're, we're 10 years old this year as an organization. Any words for our future or anything that you think you're happy to have seen us do? Go up and uh, every time take the latest that you can get in the transformation of a society for a nephrodil moment. So it's fun. It's fun, but it is also a part of your responsibility where you are aware, your group is aware, and it is great to be in your midst. And 10 years is just a split second. Um, so go on. Thank you so much, Nelly. We're looking forward to your talk. Thank you so much. Okay.